Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome to The Mannequin, a free indie horror demo which you can download right now on itch.io or itch.io, I don't know how you pronounce it, What, whatever, the link will be in the description below. Right, just a quick summary, it's a scary, spooky indie horror that's based in London and as far as I know it involves some sort of time travelling of some sorts, who knows, we just have to solve the mystery of who murdered who, why, how and where. And when. Well, obviously, uh, that's a given in London in an abandoned house. Either way, let, let's get into it. Enough rambling. And I will be using my game controller because my keyboard is awfully fucking squeaky. The American is best played with headphones. Please put them on now. Check. Karuni. This demo does not contain any voice acting, but the full game will. Awesome. You know what, Dev? If you need more voice actors, I will willingly contribute. Alright, the typical controls. Move, look, phone torch, cancel, drop, interact. Wait, I thought this was set in the 1950s. Eh, doesn't matter, I could have misread it. Who knows? Two Tales presents. The Mannequin. Stupid keys. One of these has to be the right one. Aha! Telephone call. Hey dad, it's me. I'm at the house now. Just got inside. Thanks for doing this, Lisa. I really appreciate it. No problem. You still at the funeral home? Yeah, dotting I's and crossing T's. You know how it is. Yeah, that's understandable. It's so dark in here. Musty as hell too. Oh, gross. Just got a face full of spider webs. <laughs> Watch out for those. I'd imagine the place is a complete state, is it? No one's been in there in ages. Yeah, just a bit. How long has this place been empty? Well, my mom had it in 58, but I don't think she ever lived in it. She refused to sell it. Never did say why. Now she's passed, it's ended up with us. So it's been empty ever since? Must be worth a fortune though, surely. A house this size in the heart of London? Well, that's why you're there. We'll have to tidy up the place before we can get it evaluated. At this rate, I'll be the one doing most of the cleaning. How much longer do you think you'll be there, Dad? Dad? Ah, oh, bloody hell, no service. Great. Guess I'll have a look around then. Oh, Jesus Christ, developer. Slow down with the dialogue. It's moving way, way too fast. Just tone it back a bit. Just an itty, itty bit. So far, that's my only qualm. And, wow, you know, the art style looks pretty unique. It's kind of got the acrylic paint look to it. If that is the right um, type of paint I'm thinking of. The only thing I can sort of th think of that's somewhat comparable to the graphics of this game is another little indie game called Braid. Totally unrelated. It's not the same genre. It's a 2D puzzle solving game. Which, however, does involve um, time traveling to an extent. You don't really travel through time more, more so you use... Uh, time itself to go back and forth to undo uh, mistakes you make in the game if you make any mistakes or to progress further and if that is your type of game if you do like puzzle games I highly recommend picking up Braid it's got to be cheap at this stage I mean it came out when 2011 I think or 2012 maybe even before that right um, I'm getting carried away here so what we got to do what we got to do I didn't look around this place properly yet I only meandered through it Nothing here, nothing here, nice wallpaper painting off the walls, good, very creepy aesthetics, loving it so far, can I flip on the lights, N no. Can I leave? And never come back again? <gasps> no, no, I didn't think I could do that either. No one escapes a horror game this easily, unless of course you're playing that last indie horror game I was playing, um, <laughs> Pamali. Yeah, you could actually run away or run out of the house from that game that was kinda cool very unique one thing that um, I'm noticing about this game is again the art style seen as it's so simplistic it's easy to run but then again I do have the game on at fast settings because my PC she's uh, getting old and feeble 
so she's not able to handle as much as she used to be. Whoa. Bloody hell, the house really needs some TLC. No shit. Gotta put some hinges on that door. What was that? That was known as base, which somebody obviously dropped. But in this case, I think it may be someone up to some shenanigans upstairs. So let's go check it out. At least I think it was upstairs. And we can't run. Uh, I don't like any games that don't have to run mechanic. I think it's kind of a cheap way to try and prolong the game. But then again, I could be entirely wrong. That is just my opinion. Dark room, keep shut. By dark room, I hope you mean a photo developing room and not a portal to hell. Or possibly a room that has demons inside it. Right, nothing here. We can't jump or vault over anything. No, what about here? Creepy chair. Nothing in there. I was expecting there to be a ghost to greet me, but no. No such luck. Okay, continuing upwards. Oh, this is the last floor, so... <clears throat> just gonna be something scary in here, I just know it. I can feel it in my bones. Hello. Oh! Hello there, little creepy mannequin. Of course, there's a mannequin in this game because of the title of said game. It's called Mannequin. Ooh. Kinda feel sorry for le being left here and broken and abandoned. I wonder if these parts on the floor will bl uh, belong to it. Of course they do. Alright, give me your hand and I'll raise you up and I will raise you an arm. Here I go, boop, and here's your head. Ooh, you're staring into my soul. Too bad for you I don't have a soul. There'll be no soul consuming for you today. The only consumption of souls you'll be having is a consumption of soul and jazz. You're not going to get up and do the oogie boogie now, are you? Of course he is. I'm going to turn around and he'll be gone. Three, two, one. Boop. Oh, you're still there. Okay, good for you. You just be a good little dummy mannequin and I'll do some more exploring. If I can. If I can, but obviously not. Oh, he's gone. What the hell? Where's the mannequin gone? I don't know. Maybe he hopped out the window while you weren't looking. Okay, that door opened by itself. And now there's some sort of jazzy music playing. Mm. I hope that is not copyrighted, or else I'm gonna be in trouble. But not really because my channel isn't monetized. But I will get an email from YouTube saying, oh, naughty boy, you've been using copyrighted music, but it's okay, we won't strike your channel. We'll just demonetize it. Even though I'm not monetized in the first place. Wait, is this where the music is coming from? This radio here? Can I... Oh, I can examine it. Can I do anything with the dials? Oh, I can move the dials with the analog. Okay, cool. Sounds very stormy. Wait, there's a little white dot there at the left. Maybe I'm supposed to bring it all the way over to that. Oh, I hear something. That way. Got anything else to add? I don't know, it's the same. Right, so I'm assuming this is the home of which said murdered family lived in. Oh, and I'm 
just after noticing this room changed, I remember it was empty before, so this must be part of the whole time traveling technique, gimmick, whatever that physics, something that's going on here. Right. Uh, oh boy, I badly fucked that up. That yeah, doesn't matter. Nobody watches my channel anyway, so hey, hey, I can do whatever I want. Um, there's nothing else to be explored or anything else to be investigated. This photo of. God knows what because it's so pixelated and blurry. Maybe it's what you call modern art. And no. Uh, either way, I don't think there's anything else I can interact with. Wait, what? No, they're all locked. Anything else here? Ooh, photo. A kind of creepy photo. I can barely make out a face there in the right corner. I will do a little zoom in Sony Vegas to try and blow it up. Is that a face? I, I can't tell. Right, either way, we're done here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, mother of lag. Can I go in here now? No, I can't. Okay, what about that jazzy music that's going on? Come on, where is it coming from? Downstairs? In here? I have a bad feeling about this. Before I go in there, I'm going to explore this room. Like an idiot, it's more than likely this room is death. Does it? Hello, death, my old friend. Are you waiting to take my life away from me today? You know I. What the? Is there a fire going on upstairs or something? What? what what's with? What's with the lighting effects going on here? What? Whoa! Whoa! What? What the hell? That's just weird. Okay, now what do we have in here? <gasps> Gasps! What the hell? Why is this mannequin in the bathtub? At least I think that's what the dialogue said because it moved too fast for me to read. Oh, I... I think I get it. These mannequins are supposed to represent the family who was murdered here in the house that in whatever year they were murdered in whatever year the events took place 1958 maybe I don't know Lisa that's my name how did they know oh no um, you you can stay there you just chill in the bed for, for a while just don't come chasing after me there's one thing that creeps me out in any horror game it's mannequins Oof. Oh, this room has changed too. This stuff wasn't here earlier. This can't be the same house, surely. Uh, no, maybe it could be your overdose on shrooms. Who, who knows? If you participate in the consumption of shrooms. Or weed. Or whatever drugs you may or may not be doing. I do not know. Examine this mug. It's got a nice snoz, but nothing in it. What about this mug? It's a very nice mug. Books, can I read them? No, plants, tell me your secrets. Mirror, too blurry to see my own reflection. Either that or I'm a vampire and I don't have a reflection. Clock, what time is it? Frickle past the hair, nice fire, and anything in here? No, no. Can I drink some booze? No, I can't because I'm underage. Oh, then crotch here, watch some TV. Is there any food? No. Is there any foosball on? Okay, I turned it on, now turn this dial. No, that does nothing. Okay, that's a big waste of time. Go on, get up. Jack all around here for me to interact with. So what mystery am I supposed to solve? The murder mystery that happened back in 1958? Possibly. Can I go out the door now and leave? Oh, I can't. Oh, the boxes have been moved. So now I can go down here. Oh, just wait for it. That awaits down here. I just know it. Oh. Not a creepy dead mannequin body, I think. And oh my god, he's been beheaded. 
Okay, that's nice. Just don't do anything spooky. Okay, none of these rooms can be opened, can they? No. Okay, and we're going up the stairs. Holy Jesus! Okay, that's kind of creepy. Oh, and look, the door is conveniently open for me to leave, but I don't think that's going to happen because, you know, horror tropes are afoot. It's going to slam in my face. Just watch. Oh, yeah, knew it. Call it. Hi. <gasps> well, well, that that was that was kind of creepy. That that actually got me. Made the hairs on my neck stand up. And I'm still alive somehow. Whew. Shrooms, they're one hell of a drug. Yeah. Sophie, Daddy, are you going to help us move in or not? Lisa, whoa. He's too busy playing with that camera of his. Come on, Linton. There's still lots to bring in. Whoa. Wow, that was creepy. Alright, just taking a photo of my two favorite girls is all. Don't you think you can sweet talk your way out of this one, mister? Put that thing down and give us a hand, won't you? Who in the hell? What's going on? Hello? Can you hear me? <gasps> and just like that, they're gone. And I'm back in present day with the door boarded up. Can I go back in here? No, I cannot. And did I hear my phone go off? Yes, I did. It's a Twitter notification. Alright, guess I gotta pick up this shiny object. A roll of film? What's going on in this place? I don't know, lots of paranormal bullshit. Maybe I can develop this in the dark room upstairs. All oh, right, so the dark room is a photo developing room. Okay, so it's not a portal to hell like I initially thought. That's good. Still locked. And still locked. Oh, no, 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 this is open. Okay, cool, there's nothing in here. Besides, it's not where I need to be. This is where I need to be. Ooh. Spooky. Can I flick this on? No. So where do I put this? I have never developed photos in my life. So I know not of what to do. Wait, hold on, what's this? Canister projector, wait. Photo paper in chemical tray A, wait, and remove finished photo. Oh, oh, I see. Here we go. I'll place that here and. Still have no idea how that works. Pick it up, yes, I will, and I will put it in chemical tray B, C, A. Here we go. Develop it, blah, blah, develop it like so. Wait a second. Examine it, pick it up. Wait for a dummy to run about upstairs, and why the hell is this photo in my face? Developer, for the love of God, no, this is not one bit okay. I don't mind having having um, a little bit of a GUI going on here, but that's supposed to be below in the bottom left hand or right hand or top hand or top left hand or right hand, top right hand corner. And I can just drop it there, right, I don't need it. But seriously, developer, put in a proper GUI. Don't have items floating in my face. It's annoying. Oh, there are two mannequins up here now. Yay. Awesome. Are you going to murder me? You stand that up. What the fuck? Good afternoon. We are Lady Sophie. Welcome to our wonderful... Please do not put your feet in our chairs and do remember to cut sleep whenever you see us. Rose, I do declare, Lady Sophie, this really is the most marvellous dress. How kind of you to have me over for high tea. 
What a fine dress that is too, so glamorous. I dare say it was created by a dressmaker of impeccable taste and talent. Yeah, sorry, I kinda of fucked up the dialogue there. It's, it's moving way too fast. Again, developer tone back on the speed of the dialogue. I cannot keep up. So, can I leave now? Is that it? Mystery solved? Not quite. Oh, hello. Oh. Dead. Thanks for playing. The Mannequin. Follow us on Twitter at Two Tail Game. Future news and updates. Please let us know what you thought of the game. Your feedback is really appreciated. Right, my only major quip was uh, having the photo in my face. What you should do there is implement a proper GUI where all my key items or items that I can pick up and or equip just have them below in the left hand or right hand corners or top left hand or top right hand corners of the screen. It's very intrusive just to have them in your face. Other than that, I think it was a pretty damn decent game. Very unique too, wasn't using any stock assets as far as I'm concerned or as far as I know. I mean, I'm not an expert in this field so I'm just going to give the developer here the benefit of the doubt of completely creating these assets from the ground up. And if he did do that, that is marvellous, that is great and I cannot wait for the full game. If there is going to be a full game, please don't say that this is a demo when it's, or if it's just um, sort of a trial run to test your skills because I think that is fairly cheap. I mean the only thing you really need to do is fluff out the story a little bit more and BAM! You have a decent little indie horror game. Either way guys that is enough rambling so you know what to do if you did like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment right here and most importantly subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So on to next time. See ya!